Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Siren Tarot and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at who's been admiring you from a distance. So please be aware when we do this reading, trust your intuition when you're listening to the messages. If something doesn't resonate or makes you confused, like one specific message, then don't take it. And if you receive many messages that make you think of many different people in your life, it could be that all those people are secretly admiring you from a distance. So when you pick a pile, you know, you could have multiple secret admirers show up. So just be aware of that and discern and listen with your intuition. So that's what I want to say about the reading. Let me go ahead and show you your crystals. So for pile number one, we have Red Jasper. And we have the card Light Body. For pile number two, we have Amethyst. And we have the card Violet Fire. For pile number three, we have Rose Quartz. And we have the card Soul Family. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile. Pick whichever pile you're most drawn to, the one that's calling out to your soul the most, and that will be your pile for today. But of course, if you're drawn to more than one pile, always trust your intuition. Once you're done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below, and then I'll see you at your reading. Hi there my pile number ones, if you chose this red jasper crystal and the light body card, card number 20 with independence brings comfort, past restrictions and ancestral healing. This is your reading, we're going to be taking a look at who's been admiring you from a distance. So when we take a look at this reading, Please be aware that multiple people may come through and only take what resonates, leave the rest when you're listening. Listen with your intuition and discern with who it could be in your life. Like I said, multiple people could come up for you. So just listen and think of the people in your life and who it resonates with. So the first thing I'm feeling from your pile, I'm getting a specific message for some of you. When I give specific messages, if they don't resonate, if they just make you confused, then the message wasn't for you. Okay, so the first thing I'm feeling here is like an eyelash go into my eye. And of course, there is no eyelash in my eye, but this person could maybe have long eyelashes or they could just have like irritated eyes or, you know, when someone has like a pollen allergy and then their eyes get itchy, something about eyes or eyelashes or something like that. I'm also looking at this image here and this person looks like they're wearing a crown. So this person could, you know, embody that energy of royalty. You know, I'm hearing Leo energy for some of you, but if not, also okay. But this person could just embody that sense of royalty. They could, you know, have a lot of leadership skills and attributes. For some of you, I'm hearing this could be an older sibling or younger sibling, and if it doesn't resonate, it's also okay. If it's not an older or younger sibling, this person could be like a friend that just feels very close like a sibling. I'm also feeling an energy here of the reason this person is admiring you from a distance is because there is a sense of proudness as they see you growing into the person you are today. There's something here, I keep seeing Lil and Stitch, so for some of you it could be a sibling. 
because Lilo and Stitch reminds me of me and my sister when we used to watch Lilo and Stitch and I would say, you know, I'm Nani and she's Lilo. <laughs> um, of course, we don't look like those characters, but you know, when you're young, you just like, oh, I'm this character, I'm this character. <laughs> or it could be a friend because Lilo and Stitch, Stitch becomes friends with Lilo or a pet. Take it as it resonates. <laughs> If you treat your pet like royalty, this could be your pet. Or this person could be from Hawaii. <laughs> I don't know. But I also saw a plane, so this person could be from another country or could travel a lot. If it doesn't resonate, don't take it. Um, as I was mentioning this crown, this person could, you know, treat themselves like a princess, like a prince, like a king, queen, royalty, or... They could just be put on a pedestal by many people, very well respected by many people. They could be very physically attractive and have, you know, a lot of good leadership qualities and skills, but also just be highly admired by others as well. So I'm seeing this person has a pretty out there personality. They love to stand out. This person is also super independent. Their energy reminds me of a cat. Um, very, very independent. <laughs> and this person has strong boundaries, but they also have a soft side to them when it comes to those they love. This person may have experienced a lot of restrictions in their life. They may have been an older sibling and had to take care of all the younger siblings, or they may have just grown up with a lot of responsibilities. This person could also be healing ancestral wounds or healing from family wounds. Or I'm feeling for some of you ancestors around you that are also admiring you from a distance for your growth. Maybe you are the one being crowned. <laughs> so, because I'm looking here and these, it looks like feathers here and it reminds me of ancestors. This person, I don't know why I'm getting, they could wear pearls. Or they could like to wear certain types of jewelry that are very unique to them. This person's very unique. They kind of just stand out in their own unique way. They may have an intense gaze or stare. Uh, I'm also picking up on Scorpio energy and Libra energy. For some of you, like, this person looks like a Barbie doll. Because <laughs> I'm looking at this woman here, she kind of looks like a Barbie doll. For some of you, this person is always put together. Like, they give me that vibe, like they're always put together. They always have their life in order, always have things planned. I'm hearing always has their shit together. <laughs> Sorry for swearing, but that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that song, This Girl Is On Fire by Alicia Keys. <laughs> so I don't know if that's referring to you or this person, um, that this person feels you're on fire you're you're doing really well in your life. Maybe that's why they are um, admiring you from a distance. If not, this person could be on fire, <laughs> like very hot or very, very attractive or just they're always on fire. They're always doing something great. Spirit is showing me Phineas and Ferb and all their adventures and they're always doing something extravagant. This person could love comfort as well. I'm picking up on someone that loves to be comfortable as well. Like when they're at home, they like to wear pajamas or like to wear comfortable clothes and be in blankets and watch TV and things like that. This person likes their comfort things. For some of you, this person likes to speak or likes public speaking or just likes speaking to people in general, um, kind of like chatterbox energy. I'm now seeing donkey. <laughs> um, I'm seeing so many visions for your pile, especially like now after the Pisces full moon. I feel like I'm very open to energies because I even woke up in the morning and it was like I was in between realms. <laughs> I can't explain it, but... Okay, this person could love to speak or could love to sing or something to do with speaking or could have a podcast. If it doesn't resonate, don't take it. Like I said earlier, I'm definitely picking up on Libra placements for some of you. Um, this person 
really loves balance. Uh, they really love communication and truthfulness and honesty. They're a very fair person. This person could think a lot or could just be someone that always thinks and could come up with great solutions to problems. Um, for some of you, this person does give me earth energy. They could like the pur purple color or red. For some of you I'm hearing, you'll know who I'm talking about, but this person reminds me of a dragon. They're very powerful in their own way. For some of you I'm seeing Tinkerbell, so some for some of you this person could be like very fairy-like or they could be very small but powerful in some way. This person gives me a lot of like mental strength and resilience, like that type of energy. This person is also someone that is always focused on where they want to be and what they want to achieve. Very, very focused individual. And this person also is maybe even good at envisioning where they want to be in their reality and following that. Or they could be very creative. This person could love to wear lipstick if they are a woman. Um, I definitely pick up on older sibling vibes from this person, even if they are a younger sibling, even if they are uh, someone that is not your sibling, like they could be your friend, but they could act like an older sibling to you. Um, for some of you, I'm seeing like this person likes to wear smoky eyeshadow. Of course, these are specific messages coming through. If they don't resonate, don't take them, don't force the messages. For some of you, this person could have straight hair. Um, I'm seeing someone like, I'm seeing someone like this and then you're standing next to them and they put their arm around you. I'm seeing a vision like that. Um, I'm seeing road trips. <laughs> and someone that has like cot a cotton ball in their ear. Like, I don't know if that's something medical, but I I'm seeing a cotton ball in the ear. <laughs> I don't know what that means. So spirit guides on my pile ones who is secretly admiring them from a distance. Okay, we have two cards that want to come out for you. So we have Pulse of the Mother with Slow Down, Time and Nature, Earth Pulsing. Yeah, this person does have parent energy too. Like that friend that is the mother of the friend group or the father of the friend group kind of takes care of everyone. This person has a very grounded energy. They could be an earth sign too. They could love to spend time in nature or go on hikes. Or they could just be a very peaceful, grounded person and individual. They give me that very focused energy and like the type of person that knows how to create solutions to things. My eyes seriously itchy. I don't know if I'm feeling this person's energy. They could like mountains or just beautiful views like to be out in nature, could love flowers, could be that type of person that loves to slow down and just experience life and be in the moment. They're very present in the moment and when you talk to them, you can tell they're really listening is the vibe I pick up on. This person is very peaceful, very calm. I don't think you'd ever see them angry or frustrated. They know how to stay calm even under pressure and I feel like that's the type of person you'd have around and when you're stressed out, they'd be like calm down and they'd make you feel calm. We also have water your garden with nourishment body care, tenderness, and rest. So this is a type of person that um, has recently maybe gotten into self-care, likes to take care of their body, could, you know, gym, could exercise, could drink a lot of water, could take very good care of their body, their soul, their mind. I feel like this person has been through some things and maybe recently they've learned to pour in them into themselves because I feel like this person is a giver. They give to everyone else and they take care of everyone else. I'm also picking up on cancer energy. So this person could have cancer placements. Uh, they could like to be around water, just be out in nature. I feel like this is the type of friend you'd or person you'd want to travel with. Um, they just something about nature is coming through. I I'm seeing social media. This person could love to take pictures and, you know, post on social media. 
They could love gardening with water your garden. Um, I'm going to put this card away, away because I need to get another oracle deck. <laughs> so at the back of the deck we have the seven star sisters. So that's interesting. For some of you it is a sibling. I'm seeing that this person is a very, very busy bee, but somehow they're never stressed out. Like, it always seems like they do something and it seems perfect. Like, I don't know, that's the vibe I'm getting from this person. We're gonna... So this is the um, Sacred Light Oracle deck. This is the Starseed Oracle deck. And this is the Wisdom of Avalon Oracle deck. Um, I'm picking up on this energy like they're always busy, but they're never stressed out and I'm seeing someone like Jim I'm seeing someone, you know, take hikes. I'm seeing someone run So this person could be very focused on fitness and health and it actually could calm them down a lot It could relieve some stress for them uh, So this person really takes care of themselves in that way and takes care of everyone around them I'm seeing this person like to plan I uh, like to be that kind of mom or dad of the friend group. <laughs> That's what I'm picking up on. Person could be very, very creative, could be a visionary, could really believe in themselves and, you know, hype up those around them and teach them to believe in themselves too. So who is secretly admiring my pile number ones from afar, from a distance? We have the dragon. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love that. Card number 24. For some of you, this is a specific message. This person could just love dragons, could have a dragon tattoo, or could just be very powerful like a dragon. Could have a lot of strength. Uh, the butterfly beauty wants to come out. Yeah, I said this person's very beautiful. And then at the back of the deck, we have the Merlin with alchemy, justice, and balance. And here we see another dragon. So that's quite interesting. This person could also be magical in their own way or could be healing from something. Justice and balance reminds me of Libra energy. <laughs> um, I don't know why this card reminds me of Frozen. I don't know if this person likes Frozen. Or likes frozen things, frozen grapes, ice cream, things like that. <laughs> um, this person could also like hot weather. This person could also like hot weather and could like to be, you know, on holiday in hot places. Uh, for some of you, this is a person from your past, I'm hearing. So who's admiring my pile? Number one's from, from a distance. Okay, we're using the Vanessa Tarot, Ten of Cups in reverse. For some of you, like like I said, this could be a family member or could be a friend that feels like a family member. Could also be someone that was very important that was in your life. And it was like you were almost like best friends or together all the time or maybe lived with this person but Maybe things have changed now where you're not as close as you used to be. We have the Four of Wands. I'm also hearing that song. Um, that's like, it's kind of like an Instagram reel song that I've heard a lot of times. But I'm hearing it for you specifically. Let me just find it. So it's like, it's like, bitch, who the fuck? So <laughs> Something like that. And then it's like hotel, something like that. Okay, it's called Hotel by Lossy. <laughs> it's a TikTok song. But it basically says, I'm missing you and that throat. I'm in her. Okay, it's a sexual song. So this person could have been someone you were with before in that sense of course this is not an 18 plus reading but I, I just heard that song so <laughs> with the four of wands uh this could have been someone you know you had a lot of fun with you could have celebrated a lot with this person it was just always a fun time with this person however we also have the two of pentacles in reverse wanting to come out in the tower so that lets me know maybe something happened and fell apart between you two and your relationship or just something happened where things weren't the same anymore. So we're now going to use the Muse Tarot. Like, 
I don't know, I feel like this person kind of misses you. I'm seeing the scene from Bratz and I think I'm gonna pull very few cards because I kind of channeled a lot of information. The tower card wanted to come out, I saw. Um, this person could miss you. I'm seeing the brat scene where, you know, in the Bratz movie, like the, the live action movie, when they all stop being best friends and Jasmine, Yasmin, not Jasmine, Yasmin is in the bathroom and she's busy talking to one of the other Bratz girls and things just aren't the same and she's like missing them. I'm seeing that scene. So this person could be a friend where things just aren't the same. The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person gives me that vibe. Like they're always like put together. They always have their life in order. Six of Cups could be someone from your past or you just haven't seen each other in a, in a long while. We have the Page of Swords. So I feel this energy of this person, like I said, being someone that plans, being someone that is very focused on where they want to be, but also very relaxed and optimistic at the same time. Very curious person. They love information, love knowledge, love to learn more. They're the type of person that is always learning, always very, very intelligent person. Okay. I feel like this person, I think they're missing you. I think they're thinking back to memories, nostalgicness, memories they wish they could go back to with the, with the Nine of Cups. Maybe you were exactly the person they wished for and, you know, they're missing the fun times you had together with the sun. They're missing how much sunshine you brought into their life. Um, or even if this is not a person from your past, this person could just be missing you. What isn't good is <laughs> we have the Six of Wands here, the Eight of Cups and the Devil. So I feel like maybe some of you left this person behind because of toxicness or because of a fight or it was just not good energy. Like maybe some of you like left this person or they left you and it wasn't on good terms, like you were on bad terms and maybe this person has been gaining success. So you have been gaining success focusing on your careers but there is a sense of them being proud of you from afar, like watching you from afar, being very inspired by you because we have the muse of materials at the back of the deck. And there's this vibe of them seeing you maybe make it in your material world or there's this vibe of them missing being around you physically, you know, having that type of physical relationship with you. I'm not talking about just romantic but like being with you physically spending time with you physically um holding you being with you laughing with you that type of vibe so i think this is where i'm going to end off your reading i really hope this reading resonated if it did please don't forget to like comment subscribe and i can't wait to see you in my next reading bye Hi there my pile number twos, if you chose this amethyst crystal and card number 35 was violet fire, transmutation, detoxification, psychic vision and constant dist distraction, this reading is for you, we're going to be taking a look at who's admiring you from a distance. So please be aware when we're doing this reading, listen to the messages with discernment, with your intuition. If I give a specific message and it doesn't sound like a person in your life, don't try to force the message, then the message probably wasn't for you. So when you're listening, trust your intuition with who you think it is in your life. It could show up as many different people where I'm giving specific information about this person in your life, this person, this person, or it could just be one person, depending on who's watching this. So let's go ahead and tap into the energies of your reading. So the first thing I felt from your pile, I saw the star card clairvoyantly as I was looking at the star here. Uh, so this person could be an Aquarius, if not, also okay, but they could just be that type of very unique person, could be very rebellious, could be very unique, very innovative, could embody that energy of the star card, could be that type of person that just shines bright. I feel like this person has a lot of light within them. 
they could have a connection to the higher realms as well as the earthly realms. Even with all this purple here and the amethyst crystal, this person could be very intuitive, very connected to those realms. Purple gives me the energy that this person embodies royalty, that this person is a very, they have like a very rich energy, like in terms of soul and spirit. I don't know why, like I'm hearing gospel or soul music, maybe this person likes that. If not, also okay. Something about jellyfish, like colorful jellyfish that light up. <laughs> I don't know if that reminds you of a specific person in your life. Um, I'm seeing a diamond ring or diamonds, like maybe this person recently got engaged or is about to get married soon. Or could be married, could be engaged. Or could, you know, have that energy of like being like a diamond or liking, you know, very luxurious things. Yeah, this person gives me the vibe like they like... They like to wear um, good quality clothes and good quality things. This person is, they don't give me a materialistic vibe per se, but it's more so like that type of energy of if I'm going to wear something or buy something, I'm going to make sure it's good quality. Even if I spend a little bit of extra money on just one item, rather than buying many items at once, I'm going to wear something that feels comfortable on me, where the material feels nice, where the textures feel nice, where it's going to last me a long time. So this person could embody that maybe like Taurus energy as well or Scorpio energy. I just heard Scorpio as well. Uh, there could be an intensity to this person. Something about connection to ancestors for some of you. This person may be healing something in their life. Uh, I don't, I'm seeing like this person likes to be on their phone. <laughs> I'm hearing that song by Travis Scott. Don't you open up that window. Don't you let out that antidote. That song, Antidote. I don't know if this person likes rap music or something like that. I'm seeing someone here, like, is a scientist or likes science or something like that. Or is very interested in that. Like, this person could like watching movies like that. Or like watching movies that inform them. Or, because, like, I'm picking up on Grey's Anatomy specifically. Like, this person liking to watch shows like that or movies like that that educate them in some way. If not, it's also okay. Let's go ahead and pull the rest of your cards for you. I'm hearing that song that's like... That's like, you are my sunshine. My only sunshine. Something like that. You could be this person's sunshine. <laughs> um, I'm seeing like one person be the moon, one pe person be the sun. <laughs> I don't know if that resonates. It's just a specific message. These specific messages may not resonate with everyone. So it may just be for one person here. Just be aware of that. So we're using, uh, this is the Sacred Light Oracle deck. This is the Wisdom of Avalon Oracle deck we're using now. For some of you, this person travels a lot or likes or wants to travel. Uh, so spirit guides on my pile twos, who is secretly admiring them from a distance? We have the dog with loyalty, sincerity, and unconditional love card number 19. This person could love animals, could love dogs, could love pets, or they could embody golden retriever energy. <laughs> um... I feel like this person embodies that sense of loyalty, unconditional love, very genuine person. Um, at the back of the deck we have love. I don't know why I shuffled this again because I'm using another oracle deck. So we're using the Starseed oracle deck now. So spirit guides of my pile twos. Who is secretly admiring them from a distance? We have lifting the veil with questioning everything, anything unaligned must go. Uh, I just saw a tornado. I think that's a specific message for someone. Maybe this person lives in areas where there are tornadoes or 
Uh, I'm still seeing the energy of travel, like this person traveling a lot, like staying in hotels and traveling and things like that. For some of you, this person has a beautiful heart, but I'm also picking up on certain karmic connections. These are the cards that wanted to come out. <laughs> So you have multiple extra cards here. I'm not going to include them, but just show you. So karmic connections, karmic relationships. You and this person could be very different. I love that it's showing from a distance here. You and this person could have had conflict in the past or could just be very different where something doesn't click or there are clashes or... You just don't see things from the same perspective or view things from the same perspective. You know, this per person could be a person from your past watching you from afar. However, something about the conflict brought soul growth to both of, both of you, allowed both of you to understand yourselves a lot better and deeper. Then we have activated earth with power places, lead lines, trust where you're led. This card always reminds me of travel and going to different places, maybe loving nature. Maybe this person's an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then we have the cosmic heart with devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer. This person could be spiritual or religious. This person could just have a very beautiful heart, could be very devoted to those they love. They love in a very huge way is what I see with this card. And then we have deep cellular healing with Arcturus energy, physical and emotional healing. So this person could definitely be healing something in their life. And some of you also have angels or an angel around you that is watching you and that is very proud of you and is admiring you from a distance. At the back of the deck, we have surrender to the sweetness with Venus energy, pleasure, joy, and make love to life. So for some of you, the energies here could be romantic for some of you, whereas for some of you, this... It could be an ex, this could be someone that is crushing on you, this could be your actual lover if you are in a relationship, or this could be people you're talking to if you're single, if you're going on dates, if you're, you know, talking to people, situationships. Um, other than that, if it's not romantic, this could be a friend, this could be someone that is just admiring you from a distance as we see here, could be watching you on social media, could be just seeing you from a distance in public and admiring you, um, or this could be someone from your past that is watching you, that is missing you, or they're just watching you from a distance, maybe even like a stranger that is very interested in you. Or this could be like someone from a distance that feels you're very sweet, feels like, you know, you could have a lot of joy together, could feel like you're very attractive to them, they could be attracted to you. Or if not, they could just be, for some of you, I'm hearing like watching you from afar to collab, uh, something about creativity or something about like watching you from afar because they want to be your friend because they think you're very sweet. They think you can share a lot of joy together. There's there's still the sweet energy here, even if there is that karmic energy. All this could be different people I'm reading. Just keep that in mind. So now we're going to use the Vanessa Tarot. So Spirit Guides on my pile number twos. I don't know why I'm seeing Willy Wonka. <laughs> Does this person like chocolate or did you watch Willy Wonka together or do they like Willy Wonka? <laughs> um, we have the Four of Pentacles. This person could either be holding on to you. Oh my gosh, two of cups at the back of the deck. For a lot of you, this is romantic. Um, and right behind that, we have Miss Universe. So the person thinks you're very attractive, very beautiful, because Miss Universe is a model. She's very attractive. She's very beautiful. But she also has certain qualities to her that makes her Miss Universe. So could be a romantic person 
like having romantic interest in you for some of you. Then we have the seven of cups. So this was the back of the deck card. Uh, for some of you, it could be an ex holding on to you, or it could be someone crushing on you from afar holding on to you. The vibe I'm getting here for some of you, if it's not like that, this is could be a partner even. <laughs> But, like, the vibe I get here is this person, if you don't relate to that energy, this person could just be a very responsible person, could, you know, save a lot, could be that type of person that I'm, I'm picking up on sleepy energy, like, they could love to sleep, could be very sleepy, could have sleepy eyes, but I pick up they're very psychic, whether they know it or not, they have intuitive gifts and... That is why, because like they're very dreamy in some way, or they love to daydream. They love to just be in that in their own kind of world. I'm picking up on Pisces energy for some of you, or this person could have a Pisces moon or Pisces Mercury. I'm picking up on or Earth placements. Um, even if the signs don't resonate, I'm, I'm picking up on someone that's very responsible, someone that likes things in order, likes things to be planned ahead of time. This could be someone that reserves the energy or doesn't like to be in big crowds of people because I feel this person is very empathic and I guess sometimes being around lots of people or the wrong people could drain them. Uh, there's something about this person being comfortable with saying no and being comfortable with like saying no if something doesn't suit them or makes them uncomfortable. So these three cards fall on the floor. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. For some of you, this could be a work opportunity or someone that wants to be a business opp opportunity to you or a client or someone you work with for some of you or this could be a collab, like I said earlier. If not, this person could want to see you physically, could be admiring you from a distance because they want to see you physically, they want to meet up with you in some way and... Uh, talk to you in some way because um, on that back of the deck card we saw something about like a date this person could want to take you out for a dinner date or even if if not even if it's not romantic they could be wanting to to meet up with you in some way um, and eat dinner together or have coffee together or just have some kind of physical meeting is what I feel here. Maybe they want to tell you something in person. Uh, for some of you, if this is a person from your past, it seems like they are trying to become better. They're trying to grow and become a better person. They're trying to put higher expectations on themselves so that they can grow as people, so that they don't stay stuck in the same old cycles. I'm hearing that song, Same Old Mistakes by Rihanna. So this person could be trying to liberate themselves and break free from certain toxic patterns or cycles in their life. Um, could just be trying to find a higher sense of purpose in their life and a better path in their life could be trying to be more truthful or seek their own type of truth. For some of you, this person is a fire sign because I'm picking up on fire energy. Um, of course, I could be mentioning different people in your life, so just keep that in mind, or I could be mentioning different things for different people watching. Uh, something about this person being drawn to Egypt or Egypt being significant, maybe this person has past lives in Egypt, maybe you have past lives together in Egypt, or maybe they're just interested in Egypt or archaeology or like ancient history and things like that or aliens, things like that. Um, I, I pick up this person could be creative, could have a very fiery personality. Um, if they were someone that is trying to change, I feel like 
some for some of you, not all of you, this person could have been a player in the past and they could be trying to change or they could be an ex and trying to get you back. But I don't know, trust your intuition, discern. If you don't want this person back in your life, then don't get them back in your life, you know. Um, these are just the messages that are coming through. For some of you, I'm seeing a pregnant woman admiring you from afar. Like, literally, I'm seeing a pregnant woman. Or someone that is trying to birth a new reality. This person could have very motherly or fatherly energy. Or could be your mother or father. Or could be... Could be someone with a lot of motherly or fatherly energy, very nurturing. For some of you, I'm hearing godmother, godfather, or something like that, or could just treat you that way. Even if they're a friend, it could be that type of friend that's like the mom or the dad of the friend group. This person could be that type of person that's also very grounded. I'm still seeing that energy of liking material things but I don't think this person's materialistic they could be I could be reading it wrong but I think they like nice things they like to feel good in nice things like this is the type of person that maybe wears silk pajamas because they like to feel comfortable in that or buys nice nice sheets because they like to feel comfortable could be that type of person that believes, you know, they're investing in themselves when they buy skincare, when they buy certain products, when they buy clothes. This person could also be, for some of you, very stubborn. And for some of you, I'm seeing ancestors that are watching you from afar and admiring you from afar. For some of you, I'm seeing like you could have gone through karmic lessons with this person or... You know, they're learning their own set of lessons in their own life. Um, this person could also just have a very grounded energy. Um, I don't know why this card is reminding me of like, you know, giving flowers at, at a grave funeral. It's 11.11 on the clock, by the way. So for some of you, this could be a past on loved one admiring you from afar, being very proud of you and your journey and how far you've come on your journey, still saying that they're here. This could be the angel we picked up on earlier. As I looked at her red hair, I saw the little mermaid. <laughs> Some of you, this person could have like a mermaidy energy or they could be having red hair. For some of you, I'm seeing this person like likes picnics, likes to be out in nature. With the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like in some way with this person, sometimes things have felt fated or they felt you were fated to be in their life, which is why they are admiring you from afar. Um, there's a sense of like this person feels some type of deep connection to you, deeper than usual. So maybe there is some sense of past life history here or... The sense of this person having this inner knowing and being drawn to you in some way. Or they could be trying to make their life better or your life better by offering some kind of opportunity for some of you. I'm hearing that song, Do You Remember the 21st Night of September? <laughs> I don't know if that song is significant for some of you or like something significant for this person in September or for both of you. Maybe this person's born in September. They could be a Virgo or I don't know what other signs are in September. Poss possibly Libra, if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken though. I'm now hearing that song by Miley Cyrus, I Can Buy Me Flowers. So um, the vibe I pick up on is this person is admiring you from afar on social media. Could be daydreaming about you. Could be wanting to plan something to meet up with you or to talk to you in some way. But I feel this person contemplating on it. Like, would this person even want to talk to me or message back? Um, something about that. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Or they could just be thinking about you a lot and looking at your life at there's something about them seeing your growth and seeing how you've changed, how your life has become better. 
it seems like you are in this state of really growth, doing well for yourself. It's like you are... Things in your life seem to be falling into place. This person could have tattoos for some of you. I'm picking up on Asia. This person could be Asian or could be from another country. For some of you, I'm picking up like this person definitely could be an earth sign or like a Leo or something. There's a lot of cards coming out about like the earth, the earth cards um, or Scorpio. I'm definitely picking up on strong like death and rebirth energies. Uh, we have the nine of pentacles or they could have 12th house or 8th house placements. Um, you know, the birth chart, even if I mention specific signs, they could have certain signs in their birth chart. Uh, don't just look at the sun sign. So the nine of pentacles here gives me this vibe. This person could be very financially well off. It is really giving me that vibe, like very financially well off, or they could be trying to build that, uh, that sense of stability for themselves so that they can be financially free and comfortable. This person could, you know, want to share happiness with you, want to spoil you in some way. Uh, that is the vibe I pick up on from this person. And I feel for some of you, this person used to compare themselves to you or others in the past, but they've stopped doing that. There's something about this person letting go of certain parts of themselves that are no longer valuable or helping them anymore. So they're going through some type of transformational process right now. And there's something about their higher self guiding you in some way. And the strength card is at the back of the deck and here we see the pyramid of Egypt. So that's quite interesting. This person could be very strong and resilient or physically strong. So I think I'm going to leave your reading here, my pile number twos. I really hope this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye! Hi there my pile number threes, if you chose this Rose Quartz Crystal and the Soul Family card, card number 28 with happy reunions, support and order from chaos, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at who is admiring you from afar, from a distance. Okay, so I'm going to take a look at your reading but please listen with your intuition, discern which messages are for you and which messages are not for you because there may be some specific messages come through and if they make you confused then it's not your message then don't try to force it uh, because this is a general reading with so many of you here but also what I want to say is I could mention one trait and it reminds you of a specific person in your life and then I could mention another trait that reminds you of another person in your life that means they're both watching you from afar and admiring you from afar okay so with the soul family card you chose um i'm kind of feeling the vibe that for some of you multiple people could be watching you because i'm looking at all these people in the soul family here so for some of you it could be multiple people whereas for some of you it's it's one person but maybe just take it as it resonates. So with the soul family card, this person is definitely part of your soul tribe or could be part of your family actually. Or you could just consider this person so close that they feel like family to you. I'm noticing in this card something about blowing out a birthday cake. It looks like that's in the background. So something about birthdays could be significant. Like you could have been at this person's birthday um, in the past or they could have been at your birthday or birthdays could be very significant to this person like they love to give gifts or they just could love to celebrate uh, different points of of a person's life like anniversaries weddings things like that this person could just love to celebrate those types of things um, or find it very important to attend those types of things uh, or this person could just love to celebrate the people around them or make them feel special in some way, like every day is their birthday. Um, I'm kind of picking up on the vibe of friendship for some of you. 
or multiple people that are admiring you from afar, maybe part of your soul family. These could even be people you haven't met yet that feel drawn to you in some way, feel like they're a part of you in some way. Uh, for some of you, this could be acquaintances too. I'm picking up on Africa specifically because I'm hearing that song Waka Waka E by uh, Shakira. <laughs> and I think that was like for South Africa. Some of you are from South Africa. <laughs> or this person's from Africa or something. If it doesn't resonate, don't take it. This person could like jewelry, could like chunky jewelry. I'm seeing someone bite their lip a lot or could have certain habits like uh, biting their nails, biting their lips when they're anxious or nervous or stressed or could just do certain things like that. If it doesn't resonate, don't take it. These are specific messages. I'm picking up on someone here that is very competitive for some of you. Like, I don't know, I'm picking up on sports and like competitive sports for some of you or one of you. Um, I'm picking up on this person even if they don't do sports, could come across very competitive, like they love, I'm even picking up on de debates and like they love to compete and like be the best, <laughs> um, be the winner. Uh, it could even be someone, you know, where you play games with them and they could be very competitive. Something about shoulder pain, like this, maybe this person works really hard and has shoulder pain a lot or I'm picking up on like maybe an older person for some of you or a younger person. For some of you, I'm picking up on an Aries energy. For some of you, I'm picking up on people you maybe went to school or college or work with or like people that you didn't necessarily feel close to in the past, but like you know them from somewhere, like from some type of institute. They could be admiring you from afar if they see how you're growing. Like maybe they're seeing you on social media or something or hearing about you through the grapevine. For some of you, I'm definitely picking up on some people like you don't know that are admiring you from afar. Like maybe on social media or in public or... um certain things like that where you don't know them, you haven't met them yet, but they're admiring you from afar. They feel drawn to you in some way. This could be your soul tribe. I'm picking up on gold eyeshadow like or glittery things like glittery eyeshadows or glittery things like this person could love glitter. I'm picking up on sea urchins. <laughs> Maybe this person loves the sea or loves the beach or loves loves to travel to the beach or the ocean or just loves oceany things. Like maybe they like to have oceany decorations or something along those lines. Um, I'm also seeing that, that penguin movie. I don't know if it's a penguin movie. Is it Surf's Up? Can't remember. It's like a cartoon penguiny creature thing. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Could even not be a penguin. Yeah. I'm picking up on someone here that likes horror movies or likes Scream or likes Halloween. For some of you, like, these are friends or a friend that is, that feels like you're very supportive to them. Could be wanting to see you again or could be missing you. So let's go ahead and pick the rest of your cards for you and just see if there's more information here. For some of you, I'm picking up this person could travel or drive a lot or something like that. Or I'm seeing something about this person maybe from the LGBTQ plus community. So I'm seeing some of you for that. You know, these are very specific messages coming through. So just take what resonates, leave the rest. Who's secretly admiring my pile number threes from afar or from a distance? We have water your garden with nourishment, body care, tenderness, and rest. This is the Starseed Oracle deck. This is the Sacred Light Oracle deck. At the back of the deck, we have perspective with none of this matter, zoom out, common ground. For some of you, like, I feel you won't resonate with the messages because you don't know these people, like, or you don't know them that well, like... So just bear with the messages. I don't know, like, it could even be strangers. Just 
take a different perspective is what I hear from this card. But for some of you, you will resonate. So just just keep an open mind with this reading. Because like for some of you, I definitely feel the, the energies of strangers or acquaintances you don't know that well. So now we're going to use the Wisdom of Avalon Oracle deck. So Spirit Guides of my pile threes. Who's admiring them from afar or from a distance? We have card number 39 with disruption. Okay, the wounded he human ego wants to come out. This person could have some jealousy towards you. I'm just going to put it here for now while I show you the rest. We have the swan at the back of the deck. Um, I'm going to take this away because I need to put tarot cards. This is card number 12. So this person could be that type of person that has, that is very beautiful or very attractive, very handsome. Um, for some of you, I pick up on masculine and feminine energy, so I'm not picking up on specifics, but this person could be that type of person. Like, I feel they want to be the best at everything. They want to be perfect at everything. Um... They may overwork themselves because I'm seeing like a, an episode from Bratz where this this woman and Bratz like it's an episode I can't really remember how it goes but I think they went on camp or something like that and while they were on this camp they had to choose a a certain hobby so Sasha chose um just forgive me for seeing so many Bratz messages because I like to watch Bratz for my inner child, but just hear out the storyline. Maybe it resonates with you. So um, Sasha chose maybe dancing, I think, and uh, Jade chose fashion, I think. Uh, the other ones chose other things for that camp trip, but they all wanted to actually be in a band together. But later on in the episode, they did. So when Sasha was doing um, dance classes, I think she chose ballet and there was another ballet dancer. So this person could love to dance or could love ballet if you resonate with that. But if not, also okay. But the woman in that, in that episode was kind of like very competitive. She wanted to be the best and she was jealous of Sasha because Sasha started later than her but was she felt like Sasha was better than her but she spent so much time practicing that she she completely like overworked herself so this person may overwork themselves to be the best to be the best at everything it's like when they do something they want to be perfect they have a very graceful energy and I think in some way they are a little bit like they do meet up to that perfection standard, like when other people look at them, there is this wow energy. Um, th this person could be a Leo for some of you, or they could be a Libra, or I'm picking up on fire sign energy too, so Aries and Sagittarius. I'm also picking up on like uh, Taurus placements. Placements don't have to resonate, but there's something about this person always wanting to be put together, always wanting to be perfect. But the expectations they have on themselves, you know, in some way on the outside looking in, they do look perfect in some way. They do look like they have let their life together in some way. Like if I had to look at this person, I'm not going to read this in a negative way. Like I admit I'd maybe even look at this per person as perfect. I keep hearing the word perfect. <laughs> Um, I'd look at this person as if they're so graceful, as if they do something and everything just looks so put together. Like, how did you do that? But there's something about this person. Maybe they grew up in a, in a family dynamic where maybe they grew up in a family dynamic where there were a lot of siblings, where they maybe never got a lot of attention and they had to really be the best at everything to get the attention or maybe they had strict parents that wanted them to be the best at everything that that ingrained into their mind this competitive attitude or maybe for some of you like this person I'm picking up on the ego and like maybe they grew up in 
in in a house household like where they were the only child and they never got to experience sharing or siblings or that type of connection with others their age teachers pets i'm hearing <laughs> um or they were always like alone and studying or they had a lot of high expectations on them as a child and i feel like this ingrained this this expectation for them to be perfect and I'm seeing something about this person experience a tower moment, and tower moments aren't bad. Something about some type of ego death where they release the need to be perfect. Because the pressure they put on themselves, I'm hearing the pressure, the pressure, that song by Janae Aiko. The pressure they put on themselves is too much. And I almost want to hug this person. I feel compassionate towards them because I see where it comes from. I see that it was conditioned in them. This is not a bad person. They just, I think they have very little self-worth or they're very insecure on the inside, but they, they try to appear another way on the outside. I feel compassion for them. I feel, I feel like I want to give them a hug. But this person is a little bit jealous of you, my pile number threes. And of course, I could be channeling different people here because like I said, for some of you, there are multiple people here. I could be channeling different people, yes. So for some of you, like this person is very much in their ego and they are butt hurt by you because they think you're better than them. But in real life, there is no hierarchy. No one is better, no one is worth worse we are all different we're all here on different human journeys we're all here to learn different lessons we are all learning different things and at different levels at our life but that doesn't mean one person is better than the other in god's eyes in the universe's eyes we are all equal and the one thing is okay yes in the human realm there are celebrities there are people that are better considered better but or in better situations or circumstances like presidents things like that but the one thing about humans is the one thing we share in common is we are all human and we all die <laughs> we can't escape death unless elon musk or someone like there brings <laughs> some kind of technology that makes us immortal but we all die. We all go to the same place. So I feel like we are all the same. We're all equal. And that's what this person doesn't see. So they're on their own journey. I wouldn't be hurt by this information. But if they are trying to cause some kind of disruption in your life, then I just keep a distance from this person. Just have strong boundaries. Uh, this could have been someone you were having some kind of creative project with or um, collaboration with. That's actually not nice. That's sad. But you know what? I wish this person healing. I wish this person the best of luck in their journey. But yeah. Yeah, I don't even want to talk too much about this. I'm hoping there are other energies that come through. Uh, this person, like that person I was channeling, I don't know if I'm picking up on different energies. You'll just know when you listen. Um, with the water your garden card, for some of you, like this person needs to rest, needs to make some time for themselves because they deserve mean time too. They don't, they're not here to live a life to be perfect, to be the best. Progress is growth. Um, and I feel like there's something about letting go of those high expectations they put on themselves. For some of you, this person, if I'm reading a different energy here, I feel like I'm reading a different energy. For some of you, this person is someone that loves to take care of everyone around them. Could have some people-pleasing habits, but they're learning to... to to change their lifestyle in some way page of pentacles for some of you this person could be younger than you or could be healing their inner child in some way yeah i'm picking up on multiple energies for some of you 
could be healing their inner child, could be learning to take care of themselves more, set boundaries, say no. I think I relate to that. <laughs> um, this person's very tender and a pure heart, pure soul. Maybe has experienced disruption in their own life. Very empathetic. Maybe water energy. They love to water and pour into everyone around them. I'm definitely picking up on a different energy now. It's not the same energy as before. So I'm hearing the washing machine go off. And every time it goes off, it reminds me of that song, Washing Machine Hard by Mitski. Um, we have the Ten of Swords. I think this person, for some of you, if you relate to this energy of like this person being more of a people pleaser, um, they just love to take care of everyone around them. They are in the sunshine energy. I feel like this person is so cute and innocent. I want to give them a hug. Um, <laughs> there's something about them that is so cute and innocent. Like, they wouldn't hurt to fly. There's something so genuine about this this other person I'm picking up on. And I feel like they've been betrayed in their life before by people they wouldn't expect. Uh, there's something about them in this lifetime learning to commit to themselves and... Maybe having some people around them that are like wolf in sheep's clothing. Like this person gives me a very cute vibe. I don't know. Like they give me a vibe like they just want everyone on earth to be happy. They want the whole world to be peaceful. They want to spread light and happiness and joy everywhere they go. They want everyone to hug. Uh, Spirit is showing me a vision of Mean Girls in the Mean Girls scene when she's like... The one girl goes on stage and is like, I wish everyone can hug and there could be rainbows everywhere and blah, 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 blah. Like, I don't know. <laughs> um, so that person is admiring you from afar. They could be very peaceful, could be quiet or shy or just not like to talk much. Um, for some of you, those people I, or that person I was picking up on that was comparing themselves to you... Um, they're still admiring you from afar though, so <laughs> they're still impressed by you. Okay, so can we get three cards? Because I kind of channeled a lot of information for you, so I'm just going to pull three cards. So can I get three cards for any lost information about who's admiring them from afar? We have the Muse of Emotions. For some of you, this person could be a water sign. King of Cups energy. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So it could also be an Earth sign. And we have the Eight of Wands. So what I feel here from the energy. For some of you, this person is very grounded. Very stable. They're wanting to move forward in their life. They're wanting to take baby steps towards growth, towards achieving something, towards their life, towards their career. Very ambitious. But I feel like for some of you, I'm picking up on fears and anxieties this person has. They're learning to recreate the sense of safety in their body. Uh, for some of you, I'm picking up on like, this person had a, a very strict mother. Or maybe a single mother, but very strict. But she, the mother had to be strict because I'm picking up on like many children for some of you. If the messages don't resonate, don't take them. Um, this person could be that type of person. I'm, I'm picking up on this queen of pentacles energy. Maybe that person I was speaking about before, that competitive energy. Or it could also be this energy I was picking up on. Uh, where this person is very down to earth and humble and gracious, could like to wear red lipsticks or accessories, could have, could be very sweet, but could be learning to have stronger boundaries. And with the muse of emotions, for some of you, I'm picking up on an energy of someone that just loves to pour into others. They could love to dress up, could be very beautiful too. Or very attractive, very physically attractive. But there is a sense of them healing themselves. Um, very much like a go with the flow, chill type of energy. 
like water. I think I'm gonna leave the reading here. So I really hope this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye!